Yeah, it's part school, part gym. Game Changers is where promising young athletes can get their degrees and get professional coaching with high-tech help. But it's also home to a program for kids with bright futures, no matter how dark their past. The sounds you hear at Game Changers. The sound of athletes working out. The sound of coaches coaching. But what you might not realize is you're listening to young lives being turned around. Co-owner, former NFL running back, Rodney Rice. It's the magic. When you get an opportunity to grab a young man or young lady that hasn't had an opportunity to have something different, and you expose it to it, and you give them a different lifestyle, that's the reward. Kept me away from the streets. It kept my head in the books. It gave me somebody to look up to. Khalil is a soon-to-be 17-year-old who took a break from basketball to sit with us and look back to when he was just a 14-year-old with a record. I feel like I had to grow up at an early age. Sure. So it was like, I got to start making decisions for myself. Ain't nobody going to make them for me. Yeah. So that's when I just decided to start doing what I need to do. We won't go into details, but those decisions weren't always great. The authorities were looking for a way to turn his life around, and they found it at Game Changers. He was sent here and hasn't looked back. In the three years since Khalil first walked in, the program has expanded. Once a week, young offenders from Spring Mountain Youth Camp, other kids from Child Haven are invited in. They lose their breath during a workout and lose the bad habits that got them in trouble. They say the program teaches them discipline, like a then 15-year-old with an attitude, who now is looking at colleges. Before, like my 15-year-old self, I was stubborn. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. I don't want to. I don't have to do it. But then now being me, I would definitely do it. This is where the juvenile justice system and sports intersect. The other co-owner, Lamont Hicks, is gym owner by night, youth parole officer by day. If District Attorney Bridget Duffy wanted a place where kids could connect, she couldn't design a better one. And the transformation of kids that were going down the wrong path, is, it's incredible to watch. The program is built on a simple principle. You don't know the value of anything if you never had anything of value. Give these lost kids something to value. Maybe they won't take it for granted. Want proof? Well, the first time Khalil and D.A. Duffy met was when her department prosecuted him. Today, they embrace. It's really amazing watching that interaction happen. They are expanding. They set up a nonprofit called Transforming the Game. We have that info on our website as well. But they're trying to make that link, that bridge between people who need and people who have. Yeah, we watched some transformations right there. Absolutely. All right. Great story. Thanks, John.